Hello and welcome to a, another short video. Today, this finally came in the mail, the Texas Instruments TI Inspire CX2. Sorry for that background noise. I don't know what my father's doing. Um, and this calculator, it says advanced graphing, vivid backlight color. So it has a color screen right here. Um, this is sort of like the second try to do this type of video because the first time they sent me the old version from 2011. But this one is just from last May. Um, and on the back it compares the different models. So the only model that you could think is sort of maybe higher is the one that, the version of this that has CAS, which is gonna be a black one with a blue outline. And that one will say CAS in the top right corner which means that it can do like computer algebra. I purposely got the one that didn't have that because I can't use it for um, a lot of some standardized testing and at my school. And this one tells you what test it's permitted on. And I also printed out a sheet that compares the, all the different types of calculators. So let's open this up. Hmm, how should I do this? It says that it includes the software. Let's see how I can let me cut on the side up here. Let's see if this opens. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Well, that package really got damaged up. This is, I believe, the charging port, since you do have to charge this type. It's a USB one. So they count on you for already having the, actually, unless they include it in here. Probably include the thing. I don't know what this says. This I am not gonna open now since I know exactly what's in here. This is the software licensing key sealed. That's good, I'm not gonna open it, then I have to do some blurring out. You can get the software on your computer included. This is the simple instruction packet. They actually, it's probably about the same as the regular CX, not CX2. This is the software, I believe, is the same. Let's go into the calculator. Actually, it does not include, interesting, because when, the old, when they sent me the old one by accident, it actually included the, like, you know, like the thing you plug this into before you put it, plug it into the wall. Probably since this is the new version, they think, oh, everyone's gonna have some sort of smartphone or something that they can use this with. So the first thing I noticed with this is that, is how light it is. This is, I mean, I have a TI-83. I get it. <coughs> I think it's right here. Yep, it's right here. This is the TI-83, which is a much older version. And comparing the weight, they're actually about the same. This one might even be heavier. Let's try to get this out of the case. The case is nice, just as Texas Instruments. This is where you plug it in, different spots. I believe the charger port plugs in right here. And you can probably connect this to other stuff. Let's turn it on and see if it has charge. So I'm just holding down the on button. And select language, English, US. Click OK. It's actually a very nice clicking thing here. I like this. I'm going to use a medium sized font. It says, Welcome. Next screen is the home screen, not applications here. And Look, it has a little mouse. This is one of the really cool things with this calculator. This, the TI Inspire series is the only type that Texas Instruments make, at least that I know of, that have a mouse. Not the TI-84 CE even, which does have a color screen, but this one, you, you can use it with the mouse or without the mouse. So if we just click on Calculate, for example, this is gonna bring up our scratch pad here. So this is almost like if I turned this old version on, it's basically like this, just a regular sort of screen that you start on. So this one is just much newer. It is a little bit larger, I can see, most likely because it has this uh, keypad here. 
The screen size looks to be a little bit, yeah, it's definitely larger. And of course, I can't really see, I can still see the pixels a little bit, but of course not as much as this one. So I can just type in something to get to trigonometry, you just push this, and then you can select your choice here. Whereas trigonometry on this one, you can click like sine, cosine, or tan here, and it'll show up on the screen. Or you just click second and click sign, for example, to get that. Let's see. This one can also store documents um, and do tons of other stuff. It tells you that it's good for pre-algebra, algebra one and two, geometry, statistics, pre-calculus, calculus, biology, chemistry, physics, business and finance, and programming. Um, so let's see what else we can do. If we push escape, it just comes out of the, any of these menu screens here because a lot of these give you multiple options to choose from. I do wish, I think it would be interesting, maybe in the future models, if they added a touch screen here, that would be really cool if you could have a touch screen calculator. Because these calculators, I think, are just becoming more and more like a phone. Um, just kind of see if we push menu, we have some more options here. Number, algebra, calculus, probability. So for different types of math, we push this. If we push this home button, which is also the same as the on, it brings us back to this main menu screen, which is actually very similar to the TI Inspire CX, not just the CX2. And over here, these are the icons. So these are simple sort of shortcuts, almost like apps on your phone you could think of. Oh, I just noticed the touchpad actually goes across this entire thing. I thought it was just here. But anyway, you can choose these different options. So like to add graphs, geometry, lists and spreadsheets. So we can actually make spreadsheets sort of like Microsoft Excel. Let's see what that says. Data and statistics, you can, you can add notes. So I guess it's interesting. You can actually take notes on here. Um, click that and make a new, you make documents and you can store it. Um, I think that's mostly it for this. There's also something called Vernier Data Quest, which I've never heard of. Maybe it's, I think it's for storing some scientific stuff, but that's the main gist of this calculator. It's a very interesting calculator. Hopefully it'll last a long time. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. As always, have a great day, and you can always subscribe below. If you try this calculator out, I hope you have a nice experience with it.